Welcome back to my next video here at Piano Music and Repair. Today, I'm just kind of going over what I've got so far with the piano, um, and what I'm working on with the piano. So today, we are working on the bench of the piano. Um, so I got the bench um, sanded down, taken apart, and stained, and then polyurethane. I just put a fresh coat on this morning. So I've got to let some polyurethane dry, so I'm going to wait a couple days for that to fully dry. Um, but we have all this, and then this right here is the pedal board, the thing with the pedals. I got that sitting on. I went ahead and stained and polyurethane it because um, it was already, it was looking pretty bad when I first got it off on the bottom of it. So thought, you know, why not just throw a coat of stain on it and throw a quick couple clear coats. I have two clear coats on it right now, but I've sanded it down with a fine grit. And um, I'm going to put one more coat on it just to uh, you put a third coat because where if the, it's facing the floor, it would protect it a little bit more. Just put in, like, a couple clear coats on it. Um, and then this piece right here is the, the bottom of the bench, like where this music would sit. This is not made of full, I don't know if this is wood or not. I don't know exactly what material this is, but I went ahead, I mean, it's, it's wood of some sort or something. I don't know what it is, but I threw a coat of stain and polyurethane on it. So we're gonna wait for about four more days and see how that looks. And if that looks completely hideous, I'll just replace that all the way around because, yeah. Um, over here, I got the actual piano itself sitting right here. Um, it's ready to be tipped back and restrung. Um, so I'll take it apart. Of course, well, of course, I had the I had the, um, the 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 bed the the whole that taken off, and then I had the legs off a while ago, but. Um, Over here, it's in the sun, so you can kind of see it good now, like the inside. So, so basically, everything is ready to be uh, taken off and redid, and redone. Um, as you can see, these strings are fully, fully corroded. The pins, I'm going to do my best to salvage them. I'm gonna try to salvage the tuning pins as much as possible. Um, I think if I work really carefully and really hard on them, like really careful, then I could probably get them back to where they were when they were new. Um, the biggest issue is discoloration. Um, I took a pin out, of course, and I cleaned a little bit on it, and I looked at the threads, and the threads are the threads are pretty good. Um, if I get my my tuner here I can show you this is my box of parts and stuff I have everything individually bagged and it looks a mess but it's all individually so take my tuning hammer and um, this is just I'm just kind of testing how everything fits but if I put my tuning hammer on the pin. I mean it it turns like it should. It's it's in there pretty good. But um but as far as the pins go, um I think I can get them fully restored. And uh the bar the bar right here, um I'm gonna take it off when I restring the piano of course. 
Yeah, shine it up. I did take a little bit of a wire brush to this part right here. You can see it just a little bit. If you come over here, a bit more discolored. Come over here. You can see it's a little bit more shiny, but I'll have to take it off and take some machines to it to fully get it all shiny. Um, but like I said, these pins, I think I can get these pins looking pretty good. I think, I think there is a 100% chance of me uh, getting these tuning pins back to the original condition. Um, the strings itself, the treble strings, they're not salvageable at all. Um, they're dull sounding. Like this one. Um, like they're really dull. That one, that one's really dull. So these strings are not really salvageable. The pin block, I think, is in pretty good condition. The pin block is. Um, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, of course, this piano was on its way to the dump when I got it, but um, I've been sitting in the building for a good 10 years. But the pin box, the pin box's pretty good in it, though. It doesn't need a new pin block. Um, the so what my plans are is I'm going to take a section off at a time, restring a section at a time. And when I do that, I'm going to, um, when the strings, I uh, get them measured out and stuff. Uh, the bar will come off. I'll clean on it. The tuning pins will come out. I'll work on them. Um, I'll redo the bridges right here. Um, and then I will repaint the, the cast iron frame. And I might possibly refinish that soundboard without removing the plate, which will be kind of difficult. But... I could probably get it done. Um, so I'll go section at a time. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll do this section, get it restrung and painted up so that, so I'll probably where this is right here, I'll probably stop right here at the top is what I'll probably end up doing. I'll paint and do all that all the way up to this piece right here. And then and then I'll, um, and not, I won't, I won't go kind of fully to the left. I'll do that section. Then I'll take the bass strings off and clean them. I'm going to keep the bass strings. They're in, they're in decent condition. I can clean them up. Um, there's a couple bass strings right here that are kind of questionable. Listen how I'm um, dull. It's not good for a piano string. Um, but as far as like, there's bad discoloration, but I think that I can get all of these strings taken care of if I really try hard enough. And there's the model number, if you're wondering. Um, like I said, I'll do this, the base, I'll take the strings off, I'll hang them up in order, clean them really, really good. Same with the pins, repaint, do all the bridges and stuff. Probably repaint the soundboard because, yeah, it's gonna need it. Um, but I think the piano's gonna turn out pretty good. It's turning out really good right now. I come down here to the bottom of the piano and I look at the bridges. They're they're okay. I think they're more dusty than anything though. But I think what I'll do is I'll when I get the strings off, I'll have to check the pins and make sure that they're correct. Like if I'm looking at the strings, the strings look like they're in decent order. Like they're not one's not too far away from the other. The unisons are not too far apart. Um, as you can see, the bass strings are quite shiny at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that little bit of glare in the sun. But, um, uh, of course, you, the cast iron frame really shows it right here that it's needing refinished. So, I'll probably sand the cast of sand it down or do something. Um, I'll sand it down and I'll kind of lightly sand the soundboard and refinish it. Because it badly needs it as well. But soundboards, you have to be careful with refinishing them. Um, but what I'll do with the bridges is I'll probably end up just um, cleaning them and um, repainting the bridges because, and then uh, re probably re lubricate the pins. All this is going to need lubricated before any new string, for a string to come back on. These should be fine. I don't think I need to lubricate them. Of course, they'll be painted as well with the uh, cast iron fr frame. Um, as far as the treble bridges go. <laughs> treble bridges look decent as well. There's a slight bit of 
cracking here and there, but I can get that fixed. Um, of course, there's still nest in the piano itself, so um, it'll just be a little bit of a challenge getting it fixed. Um, but as far as the structure, there's no um, horrible breaks in the soundboard. That, I mean, not the soundboard, the cast iron frame. It's not broken. It's just it's just a little rough here and there. I need to smooth it out. I'll sand it down and refinish on it. Is probably what I'll do. Um, but yeah, the, the soundboard it, it definitely needs a little bit of help. Um, like I said, these strings are not really that salvageable, um, even though they look shiny. They don't have no tone left in them. They're they're so dull. Even when the action's in the piano, it's too, just it's a horrible sound coming from them strings so i'm gonna need to replace them put some new strings on um but the bass strings i'll just take them off and clean them but as far as as far as the finish goes and everything it's as good as it's gonna get uh refinish the piano the legs pretty good they're a little bit dusty it's a little dusty in the shop but that looks pretty good. That right there looks pretty good. Of course, this piano is a unique wood as well. Take a look at the side. Like I said, it's just all a little bit unique. It's all been refinished. But I think this piano will be a decent uh, piano to learn on for somebody. Um, Y'all are probably wondering when this piano is done, am I selling this piano? Probably not. Um, this piano belonged to my grandma, my step grandma. And uh, I don't think I'm going to give it up. But um, I'll also, when I sand the frame down, I'll repaint this because it'll need it. Uh, Winter and Company, I'll have to um, do that. Um, this, the piano, this piano company was, um, was founded in 1899, um, a New York winter piano. That's what the brand of this piano is. It's a winter company piano. So, um, just kind of going through the process. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer, and I'll see you in the next video.